So we're going to continue from where we stopped. And what we're going to do right now is to upload our team. So I'm right here in our cPanel. I'm just going to click on File Manager. And when that opens, we will go into our public underscore HTML. This is the directory we created, music. So I'll go into music and I will go into our WP content and also open up our Teams folder and I will click on upload. I already have the team set up here. So here is the team file. So I'll just pull it in here and allow that upload. Okay, so that's our team has fully uploaded. I will right click here and I'm going to extract it. So now I can delete this particular. Let's re let's reload this first. Okay, so you see it has created its own directory, so I can delete this zip file now just to save space on my server you could also come in here to view trash and you empty it okay so let's go back into our dashboard so this is our dashboard currently i'm just going to refresh on appearance and teams page so basically uh, from your dashboard you just come into appearance and you click on teams and you see our new team is now here we would activate that and here it's going to ask us to install some required plugins which would enable the team function properly so i'll tick on this one here at the top to select everything and i'll hit install so let's wait for that to finish up so we'll Okay, so we're all done installing. So I'll click on that and we'll come back in here to activate all of the plugins that we just installed. Let's also just give this some time to run. Okay, so it shows now that no plugins to install, update, or activate. So I'll come back in here to our dashboard. Now what we're going to do is to import demo content that's going to get us up and running really quickly. First of all, I would open this in a new tab. So this is our website currently and this is what we have there. Not much to write home about even though we've installed our team. So we're going to install the demo content from the team to enable us have a design that we could build on from, from there. Now, most teams allow you import demo content from settings. You're going to see the option here. For others, you would see it in tools and you probably have to come into import. For most of them, it's embedded somewhere in here in appearance and yet for others, it goes in the team options. For this particular team, it comes in here. So we'll have the mixtape dash dashboard and I'm going to click on import. And you would note this little message up here that our server resources are not properly configured. Now, the way to fix this is uh, through your php.ini file, ini, uh, whichever, there are several ways to fix it, but we won't be going into that. So, what we'll do right now is to use a method where we'll break down all of these uh, required files. So, I'll click here. And instead of using all, because we need to set our php.ini file and our limits uh, from our cPanel, which we're not going into, I will break it down. So I will import the content first, ensure this is set to yes. And when this is done, we will import the next one and then the next one. And we should have our demo content fully installed. All right, so we have the first one complete. So I'll come in here to widgets. All right, I have to refresh first. 
then I'll come into widgets and import this shouldn't take long right so you can see it says import is completed I'll refresh again and I'll pick the last one which is options and I'll import that's also complete if I come back into my dashboard and I refresh on our website we're going to have a, a design in here okay not yet so what we're going to do is to go back in here and come into our pages the demo content that we imported comes with a couple of home pages which we could set as the landing page of the website so it's easier to just search for home and then all of this would show up so we have the landing here main home music festival home so um, let's open all of these in a new tab and then we can go through and determine which one we want to be our home page oh there's another one here and these these as well so it's just so we can see that we have different options and we pick exactly which one we want to be our home page so this is the first one don't be scared about this it's just revolution slider not found and we do not want this one okay this one looks cool if I click on play what happens okay so we could connect a video from either Vimeo or YouTube in here we could change all of these all right and these are for events so we could customize all of these but first let's pick out which one we want to be our home page not this one so I'm going to close it and then let's create this one so it's going to have a revolution slider in here and several boxes okay I think this one is cool nothing to see here so these are all of the designs that we could set to be our home page if we want this one is cool also okay okay so we're going to use this one as our home page and the reason I'm picking this one is because of the goal of the website to be able to sell music and generate some form of revenue okay so you could see here there are already the products that are listed here assuming I pick this one you can immediately add to cart and have it uh, downloaded right after you make payment which is why I'm picking this one and this one has a page ID of uh, 4419 if you click on edit you should be able to see that from from your browser and I'll just pull this down so you can see right here 4419 is the page ID and uh, it's ideally from here if you come back in here that's our shop home right so this is the page we want to set as our home page so I'm going to come back in here to settings and I'll click on reading and here where it says your home page displays what we're going to pick the shop home to display as our home page so when someone visits the URL of our website they should land in the shop home 
So we'll just look for that. Okay, so it's down here, somewhere in here. Okay, there we'll go, shop home. And I'll click on save changes. So when next we visit our website, what we should have should be this particular landing page. It allows us to immediately start selling music items or videos and start making money. It allows us to integrate a video either from Vimeo, YouTube or really anywhere. You could also host it on your server and all of these are editable. You could also integrate SoundCloud to play music directly and it allows people also download any of the files that are already listed here on the website okay and then you have a link as you mean you have a website uh, an app you want to direct people to you could put it in here add more videos all of these are customizable and then at the bottom you have blog posts So here we we'll go. In the next section, we will start customizing the whole of this home page to fit more into what we want.